in a comfortable cross-legged position in Sukhasana. So try to elevate your hips if you can, sitting, propping yourself on a block or a book or a cushion. If you don't have anything, that's all right. And if you're comfortable sitting like this, that's okay as well. Keeping your hands on the knees or on your lap as you wish. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, close your eyes. Go within. Let's take three breaths together. Inhaling for one. Exhale, let it go. Sight out through the mouth. Ah. Inhaling number two. Feel your rib cage expand. Exhale, let it go. Inhaling for three. Exhale, sight out. Ah. So just taking this time with your eyes closed to arrive at the mat. Today we're going to focus on our throat chakra, Vishuddhi. So we've been working through our chakras through the classes. So we started with Muladhara at the bottom of the spine, then moved up to Svadhisthana, just underneath the belly button, then Manipura, solar plexus, then Anahata. So we did Anahata last week and opened our heart. And today we're going to work with Vishuddha, throat chakra. So throat chakra, the element is space, ether. So it's vast, it's, it's such a massive, big space. It's bigger than us, it's bigger than our earth. So this is a bridge, this is a bridge between our heart and our enlightenment. So the color is blue, so it's nice to have something blue in our lives. Obviously it's the color of the sky. So let's focus on our throat chakra today on the shoulder. Let's take one more breath together. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, let it go. Sigh it out. <sighs> Blink your eyes open, looking down at first. And today we'll start with a Brahmari breath. So it's a humming bee breath. It's very awakening for the throat and it just awakens your voice box. So it basically is a little bit similar to an OM, but we keep the mouth closed. So we take a deep inhale and then we hum with our mouth closed and we hum not out, we hum inside. So not pushing the sound towards the lips, but pushing the sound in and down. So let's give it a try. Let's take a deep inhale and begin humming. Take a deep inhale, exhale. Let's go for two more of these. So just go with it, just allow your voice to awaken, to sound out within yourself. Let's take one more deep inhale and begin humming. Mm -hmm. Take a deep inhale to reset, exhale. So round number three, taking a deep inhale, feel the rib cage expand 360 degrees, and then the exhale, begin humming. Mm. Take a deep inhale, well done. Release your right hand by your side and send the left arm over, so it's stretching into the side of the body. Taking a breath there, and as you exhale, switch. Release your left hand down, right arm over, stretching in the opposite side of the body. One more breath here, lengthening, lengthening. On the inhale, come back to center. Inhale, send both hands high into the sky and then rotate. So right hand to the left knee, left hand behind, sit up tall and straight, looking over the left shoulder. Inhale, both hands to the sky. Exhale, 
going the other way. So left hand to the right knee, looking over the right shoulder. Inhale, both hands to the sky. Exhale, folding forward. So bringing the hands down, surrendering. Maybe your back rounds up here. So what is Vishuddha about? It's your throat chakra, but it's really about your voice, your confidence, your courage, your self-esteem. So let's open that chakra today. On the inhale, coming back to center. And place your right hand over your left ear. And then start bowing to your right. So just stretching the neck here. So obviously with the shooter, it's nice to stretch the neck. Breathing there. And then from here, walk the hand to the back of the neck. So where the head begins. And bow forward diagonally. So still stretching the neck, stretching the shoulders. Taking a breath there. And as you exhale, release and switch. So right hand, sorry, left hand to the right ear, and then stretch your neck to the left. Breathing there. One more breath. And then bring your left hand to the back of the neck, sort of where the head begins, the back of the head, and bow diagonally, stretching the head, stretching that neck. One more breath here. And as you exhale, release. Moving over to a neutral tabletop. So release any props you might have had underneath the hips. Coming onto the knees, onto your wrists. So wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. On the inhale, drop the back. Lift the chest, lift the head up. Bitalasana, cow pose. So really open the throat here as well. As you exhale, send the head down, dome the shoulders, push the hips forward and push the ground away. On the inhale, Bitalasana, cow pose. On the exhale, Mariyadiyasana, cat pose. Inhale, Bitalasana, open that throat. Exhale, Mariyadiyasana, dome the back. Inhale, Bitalasana. Exhale, Mariyadiyasana. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. And then coming back to neutral tabletop. From here, place your right hand underneath the face, but sort of a couple of inches forward. On the inhale, send the left hand high into the sky and then thread it through. Lie down on your left shoulder, really push into the left palm, into the left shoulder, and then extend your right arm over. So just feel the sensations here. This could be enough. This might be where you stay if you're enjoying this. Or if you like to take it just a little bit further, then send the right hand high into the sky. Start peeling those shoulders open. Yes, very nice. And then from here, there are two options. You either wrap the right arm around, reaching for the left thigh, or if you'd like to play with the leg as well, and then lifting the right leg, sort of parallel to the ground to start with, and then higher, maybe bending the knee, and then maybe grabbing your right ankle with the right hand. It's very tumbly, so extra bonus points for anybody who tumbles. Very nice. Wherever you are, just keep on breathing. One more breath. And as you exhale, release the right knee down if you had it up. Release the right hand by your face. Push through the right hand, lift up. Send the left hand back to the sky. And as you exhale, release. Place the left hand underneath the face. On the inhale, send the right hand high into the sky. Look up to your right thumb. And as you exhale, thread it through. Lie down on your right shoulder. Push into the right palm. Extend the left hand forward. Breathing there. And maybe you stay there. Maybe that feels nice. And maybe that's exactly what you need this morning. Oh, and the inhale, send the left hand high into the sky. And maybe you wrap it around, reaching for the right thigh. Or if you'd like to pray, play with the leg, extend the left leg behind you. 
Really push into the right palm, pushing into the right shoulder. And then grab hold of your right ankle, sorry, left ankle with the left hand. Breathing there. Two more breaths, wherever you are, which, whichever variation you took. One more breath. And as you exhale, release the left knee down, release the left hand down. On the inhale, send the right hand high into the sky. Breathe there. And as you exhale, release. Coming into neutral tabletop, then walk the hands back. Tuck the toes under and sit on the knees. So tuck the toes under, make sure you're tucking even the little toes under. Coming into a little toe stretch here. On the inhale, send both hands to the sky. Interlace the hands in Kali Mudra and really drop the head back. So we're all opening the throat there. Let's take three breaths here. Two more breaths. One more breath. Opening that throat. Speaking that truth. And as yes, so release the hands down onto your lap. If it feels okay with the toes, stay there for as long as you can, because I'm going to show you my sequence for today. If you have enough, then you can always untuck and just bang the toes, uh, tops of the feet on the mat. Okay, if you can, stay there stretching your toes. Okay, so this is our sequence. Inhale, right foot to the sky. Then bend the knee, open the hip up. Inhale, right foot to the sky. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Inhale, crescent lunge. Lean forward. Step the left foot up and wrap it around for Garudasana, eagle pose. Left foot, left leg over, left arm under. So you're in Garudasana. And then opening the wings, leaning down. Untangle the legs, shoot the left foot back. Warrior three. Bend the right knee, step it back, crescent lunge. Turn them to the balls of the feet, coming to crescent lunge on the back. And then open up to the left. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, frame the left foot, step it back, vinyasa. Inhaling up dog. Exhaling downward facing dog. On the back, exactly the same thing. Right foot to the sky, open the hip. Right foot to the sky, step it forward between the hands. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, Garudasana, eagle pose. Breathing there. And then opening the wings, send the left foot back. Warrior three. Step it back, crescent lunge. Turn into the balls of the feet, crescent lunge to the front. And then opening to the left. Inhale, crescent lunge. Frame the left foot, step it back, and it's a vinyasa. So if you're in your excruciating pain by now from, the, from your toes, then coming back into neutral tabletop, and then bang the tops of the feet on the mat. That should feel very nice by now. <laughs> Breathing there. Very nice. Then tuck the toes under, and send the hips high into the sky. Our first downward facing dog. So pedal the feet here, awakening the body. Stepping the feet one by one, bending the knees, and then bend the right knee and swing it to the left, stretching the left side of the body. On the inhale, come back to center. Left knee bends to the right, stretching the right side of the body. Coming back to center, step the feet a bit wider, swing the hips from side to side. Very nice. Then bring the feet a bit closer together, sort of hip width distance apart, your hands are shoulder width distance apart. Micro bend in the knees, straighten that back and make that perfect V shape with the body. You are in downward facing dog, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Breathing there. Two more breaths. One more breath. Take one more deep inhale. And as you exhale, come into the balls of the feet, bend the knees, look between the hands, step the right foot forward, meet above the left foot. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. 
Keeping the right hand by the right foot, bend the right knee, straighten the left leg, send the left hand high into the sky, look up to the stars. And as you exhale, switch left hand by the left foot, bend the left knee, right hand high into the sky. You've got this. Inhaling. And as you exhale, release. Start um, moving from side to side, sort of creating rainbows around your feet. So swinging from side to side and start lifting up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Coming to standing. With the head and shoulders coming up last and then rolling the shoulders back, pinching the shoulder blades together, sending up straight and strong. Taking a breath there. So let's break down the Garudasana because we're going to do about a million Garudasanas today. So eagle pose. So stepping onto your feet. So let's do wrap the left foot around the right. And there are options here. So wrapping it around, you can place the left toes just on the mat. So tops of the, just on the tiptoes on the mat. Or you can wrap it around, you can keep the left foot in the air, or you can double it. And your ability to double it is entirely on your hip joints, something you're not in control with and something you're born with. So some people can do it, some people just can't. So if you've got your left leg over, your left arm goes under. And then from here, there are two options as well. You can grab your opposite sh uh, shoulders or you can interlace the hands. So that's your two options. Very nice. So you choose what variation you'd like to take. And then from here, just try, because we're gonna do that a little bit, just try to bow down. So bowing down, rounding through the back, taking a breath there. And we're gonna do this again in the sequence. Then open your wings, so spread your wings back behind you. Taking a breath there. And on the inhale, just come up to standing and rest. So shake the feet out if they're a bit tired. Let's go the other way. Let's just get the feeling for this Garudasana. So step the feet together and then wrap the right leg around. And then again, see what your choice is. So you can keep the toes on the ground. That's already Garudasana. So you can be here completely, no problem. That's your Garudasana. Or you wrap the foot around. Maybe it's just in the air here. Or you wrap it around the, the calf muscle. Your choice. And then your hands, either on the opposite shoulders or the, the palms meet. So your choice. And it's okay if you find it excruciating. So just modify and take an easier option. So keep that toes on the ground, make it just a little bit easier. So from here, bow down, round through the back, and then open your wings, so spread your wings. Taking a breath there, and then come up to standing. Very well done. So you all love Garudasana now, I'm sure. So coming to the front of the mat, bring the prayer to the heart, close your eyes. We open our first mandala, taking a deep inhale, acknowledging the mandala practice. Exhale, blink your eyes open, send the prayer to the sky, look up to the stars. Exhale, folding forward, inhale, lengthen halfway, exhale, fold. Step the right foot back, meet it with the left foot. We go slow, so you are in high plank. Dome the shoulders in high plank. And as you exhale, lower knees, chest, chin down onto the mat. Inhale, baby cobra, and hold it there. Inhale, look over your right shoulder towards your right heel. Come back to center. Inhale, look over your left shoulder towards the left heel. And then come back to center. Taking a deep inhale. And as you exhale, lower down, pushing through the hands, coming for a chow pose. So just take a breath in the chow pose. And remember, you can always skip a vinyasa. You can always take rest in chow pose. Let's just take two more breaths here. One more breath, make it long. And on the next inhale, tuck the toes under, send the hips high into the sky, downward facing dog. Inhale, send the right foot high into the sky. Point the toes, telescope that foot high into the sky. Really lengthen. Then bend the knee and open the hip up. 
Inhale, re-extend the right foot high into the sky. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Inhale, crescent lunge. Hands to the sky, you're on the ball of the left foot. Then start leaning forward, send the hands forward. Push through the right foot, step the left foot, wrap it around the right leg. Wrapping it around. Left arm under, either opposite shoulders or the palms meet. Very nice, our favorite Garudasana. Then dome the back. And then open your wings, so spread your wings. From here, untangle the legs and shoot the left foot back behind you. You're in the warrior three, Virabhadrasana three. Taking a breath here and then bend the right knee, step the left foot back. Inhale, crescent lunge. Then turning onto the feet, coming into crescent lunge at the back of the mat. And then opening to the left. So left hand behind, right hand forward. Very nice. Inhale, crescent lunge, both hands to the sky. Exhale, frame the left foot, step it back, flow through your vinyasa. Inhaling, up dog, Urva Mukha. Exhaling, downward facing dog, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, right foot goes high into the sky. Bend the knee and open the hip up. Inhale, right foot high into the sky. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Inhale, crescent lunge, hands to the sky. And then start leaning forward, push through the right foot, wrap the left leg around the right. You're in your Garudasana, left arm under, the palms meet. Start lowering down and then spread the wings open. From here, untangle the legs, shoot the left foot parallel to the ground, warrior free. Taking the breath and then bend the right knee, step the left foot back, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, rotate on the feet, coming to crescent lunge at the front. And then opening up to the left, left hand back, right hand forward. Inhale, both hands to the sky. Exhale, frame the left foot, step it back, vinyasa, lower down, your choice, chaturanga or all the way. Inhale, baby cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Very well done. Taking a breath there. And as you exhale, release the knees down onto the mat, coming into Anahatasana. So bring the chest down on the mat, keep the hips above the knees, and either the chin or the forehead comes into the mat. So we're opening the shoulders, and just listen to your body what feels better. So if you like to work the shoulders more, bring the thumbs closer together. That will be more intense for the shoulders. Or if it's too much, just walk the hands out a bit more and that will ease off the pressure. So your choice, whatever feels good for you, for your body. Two more breaths here. One more beautiful breath. And on the next inhale, walk the hands back, tuck the toes under, send the hips high into the sky. Adha Mukha Svanasana, left side. Inhale, left foot goes high into the sky. Point the toes, telescope that foot, telescope the leg. Bend the knee and open the hip up. Inhale, left foot back into the sky. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Inhale, crescent lunge. Start leaning forward, push into the left foot, lift the right knee, wrap it around. You're in the Garudasana, so right leg over, right arm under, interlace the hands. Maybe the palms meet, taking a breath there, and dome the back, lower down. Taking a breath there, and then spread those wings. Eagle wings. Now untangle the legs, shoot the right leg back, warrior free. Strong, strong warrior. Looking forward in front of you. Then bend the left knee, step the right foot back, crescent lunge. Turn onto the feet, coming to the back of the mat, crescent lunge, then open up to the right. Right hand behind, left hand forward. Taking a breath there. Inhale, both hands to the sky. Exhale, frame the right foot, step it back, flow for your vinyasa, or skip the vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot goes high into the sky. Bend the knee and open the hip up. Inhale, left foot high into the sky. 
Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Inhale, crescent lunge. Push through the feet, push through the left foot, lean forward, step it into your Garudasana. Right leg over, right arm under. But dome through the back, lower down. Taking a breath there, untangle the wings, spread the wings. Take a breath there, untangle the legs, shoot the right leg back, warrior free. Taking a breath, and then bend the left knee, step the right foot back, crescent lunge. Rotate on the feet, coming to the front of the mat, crescent lunge, open up to the right. Right hand behind, left hand forward. Yes, very nice. Inhale, both hands to the sky, look up to the stars. Exhale, frame the right foot, step it back. Your choice of vinyasa or skip it. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Taking one breath there. And as you exhale, release the knees down onto the mat. Anahatasana, but pulses. So walk the hands forward, bring the chest and chin down. Hips are above the knees. Toes and tuck to tuck, your choice. On the inhale, lift the chin up, lift the chest. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhaling, lifting the chest. Exhale, lowering down. Two more times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more time. Inhaling. And as you exhale, lower down, just sink into the ground. Breathing there. And then tucking the toes under, walking the hands back, send the hips high into the sky, downward facing dog. Adha Mukha Svanasana. Breathing there. And then come onto the balls of the feet. And as you exhale, bend the knees, step hop, jump to the front. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle hands high into the sky. Look up to the stars. Bring the prayer to the heart. Inhaling. Exhaling. Close your eyes for the moment. Just acknowledge the first round of mandala we've just created. All that space, all that energy. Open the palms to the sides. Gather the energy. Bringing back into the prayer collect all that energy inhale blink your eyes open send the prayer to the sky exhale fold forward uttanasana inhale ardha uttanasana halfway look forward exhale release the hands down bend the knees step hop jump to the back chaturanga lower down soft elbows inhale up dog exhale downward facing dog ardha mukha svanasana Right side, inhale, right foot goes high into the sky. Bend the knee and open the hip up. Inhale, right foot high into the sky. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, push through the left foot, wrap it around. Garudasana, left arm under. Bow down, find the stability. And then open the arms, open the wings, spread the wings. From here, untangle the legs, shoot the left foot back, warrior free, breathing there, lengthening. Bend the right knee, step it back. Inhale, crescent lunge. And then turn onto the feet, coming to the back of the mat. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, open up to the left. Left hand behind, right hand forward. Breathing there. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, frame the left foot, step it back, vinyasa, lower down. Inhaling, up dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Adha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, right foot goes high into the sky. Point the toes. Exhale, bend the knee and open the hip up. Inhale, re-extend the right foot. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Inhale, crescent lunge. Then lean forward, Garudasana. Wrap the right, left leg around the right. Left arm goes under, palms meet or find your shoulders. And then dome the back, lower down. Taking a breath there, open your eagle wings. And then untangle the feet, shoot the left foot back. Breathing there. Very nice. 
and then bend the right knee, step the left foot back. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, rotate, coming to the front of the mat, coming back to crescent lunge. And then opening to the left. Here, listen up. Taking a breath, look towards your right hand. Left hand to the right thigh, right arm over. So we're reversing this revolved crescent lunge. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhale, both hands to the sky, crescent lunge. Exhale, your vinyasa. Frame the left foot, step it back. Lower down, all the way to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adha Mukha Svanasana. Inhaling. Exhaling. Just one more breath here. And on the inhale, ripple forwards, high plank. Lower down, all the way down onto your tummy, slowly with control. Very nice. From here, bring the chin down onto the mat. And then bring the palms down by your hips, palms facing down. So fingers pointing away from you. From here, lift the right leg up, as far up as it will go. So this is variation of Shalabhasana, so lifting the right leg up, breathing there. Very nice. And as you exhale, release. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Pushing, using your both hands as your anchors. Lifting the left leg up. And then lowering it down. Just shake the hips from side to side to reset. And in the next inhale, see if you can lift both legs at the same time. So lifting both legs at the same time. You can keep the chin down, keeping the chest down. Breathing there. Very nice. One more breath. And as you exhale, release. Very well done. So here, listen up. Just shake your hips. Release the hips. <laughs> and on the inhale, lift the right leg to the sky. Bend the left knee and place the right knee into the ball of the left foot. It looks very, very nice. Yes. So it's just another variation of the locust pose. And we can all be Instagramming it because it looks very, very nice. It looks so amazing. And it's a beautiful back bend. Breathing there. And we're stretching. We're opening that throat so you're on your chin. One more breath here. And then release. Release the legs down. Shake the hips. And we've got to level up. So on the inhale, lift the left leg to the sky. Then bend the right knee, place the left foot into the sole of, into the right foot, into the sort of sole in there, yes. Very nice, so pushing through the hands, they're your anchors. The chin is forward, you're on your chin. Breathing there, two more breaths. One more beautiful breath. And as you exhale, slowly release the legs down. Swing the hips from side to side. One more breath. Then bring your hands by your shoulders. Tuck the toes under. Push through the child pose. So take a child pose first. Forehead to the ground. And then tuck the toes under. Send the hips high into the sky. Adha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Left side. Inhale, left foot goes high into the sky. Bend the knee and open the hip up. Inhale, left foot high into the sky. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Inhale, crescent lunge. And as you exhale, lean forward. Wrap the right leg around, Garudasana. Wrap the right arm under, meet the palms. Dome the back. Feel that Garudasana. Then spread your wings, open the arms. Untangle the legs, shoot the right leg back. Virabhadrasana free, warrior free. Take in a breath, then bend the left knee, step the right foot back. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, rotate to the back of the mat. You're in the crescent lunge, and then opening up to the right. So right hand back, left hand forward, lengthening through the crown of the head. Inhale, both hands to the sky. 
Exhale, frame the right foot, flow for your vinyasa, lower down. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot goes high into the sky. Bend the knee and open the hip up. Inhale, left foot high into the sky. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Inhale, crescent lunge. Coming into Garudasana, lean forward, wrap the right leg around. Right arm under, interlace the hand, dome the back, lean forward. Taking a the breath there, then open the wings, spread your wings. Untangle the legs, right leg goes back. Warrior three, inhaling. And as you exhale, bend the left knee, step it back. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, rotate to the front of the mat. Crescent lunge again, open up to the right. From here, listen up, look towards your left hand, right hand to the left thigh, left arm all over. So we're reversing this. Inhaling, exhaling, inhale. And as you exhale, circle the hands, frame the right foot, step it back, flow for your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adha Mukha Svanasana. Inhaling. Exhaling. One more breath. On the inhale, ripple forward, high plank. On the count of five, lower all the way down through Chaturanga. One, two, three, four, five. Well done. Strong, strong warriors. On the inhale, um, lift the chest up, lift the left legs up, and we're going to swim. So on the inhale, extend your hands forward, and then circle the hands back. So we're doing back brush strokes. Four more of these. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. So keeping the chest up, keeping the legs up. Inhale forward, exhale back. I think we just got two more or one more, I'm not sure anymore. Inhale forward, exhale back. Let's do one more, it's just so much fun. Inhale forward, exhale back. And then bring the hands underneath the shoulders, lower down. Well done. Shake the hips from side to side. Very good. And then from here, interlace the hands behind your back into a fist. On the inhale, lift the chest up. Start moving that fist further away from you. Lift the legs up as well. You're flying, you're locust, you're shalabhasana. Breathing there, very nice. Looking good. Breathing there. Just one more breath. And as you exhale, release. Lie down on your favorite cheek. Swing the hips from side to side. For the next one, we're gonna grab, you're gonna, we're gonna bend the knees and grab the ankles. So bending the knees, grabbing the ankles, grabbing the tops of the feet, whatever's available. If it's too much, you can just come back to the same shalabhasana that we've done. Otherwise, either grabbing the tops of the feet or the ankles. If you've got the ankles, if you've got the ankles, then flex the feet. If you can grab the ankles, then flex the feet. On the inhale, Kick through the legs and lift up into your Dhanurasana, your full will. Three breaths there, make them long. Keep kicking through the legs, lifting the chest up. Looking forward in front of you. Two more breaths. One more breath, kick, kick, kick. And as you exhale, release. Swing the hips from side to side. Very well done. Bring the hands by your shoulders. Push through the hands coming through a child pose. Forehead to the ground, connect. Tuck the toes under, send the hips high into the sky. Adha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, and as you exhale, come to the balls of the feet. Bend the knees and step hop, jump to the front. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the hands high into the sky. Look up to the thumbs. Bring the prayer to the heart. Breathing there. Close your eyes. We just acknowledge the second round of mandala. One more to go. 
Open the palms to the sides, gather the energy. Exhale, bring it back to yourself. Blink the eyes open, inhale, prayer to the sky. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, hands down, step, hop, jump, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, Urva Mukha. Exhale, downward dog, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Our third and final circle of mandala. Listen up, there's lots of little extras on this one. Inhale, right foot goes high into the sky. Point the toe, bend the knee and open the hip up. Start sending the right foot back, 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 back behind you till it reaches the ground, the ball of the foot. On the inhale, wild thing. Breathing there, pushing the hips up. It's a back bend. Inhaling. And as you exhale, release the right hand down, shoot the right foot high into the sky, and then step it forward between the hands. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, Gandhasana, wrap the right leg around, sorry, left leg around the left. Left arm goes under, maybe the palms meet, down the back, and then spread the wings. Open your wings, untangle the feet, left foot parallel to the ground. We stay here in Virabhadrasana free, breathing there. And as you exhale, release the left hand down onto the mat in front of you. On the inhale, start rotating, right hand goes into the sky. You're in your revolved half moon. Viparita Adha Chandrasana, breathing there. A bit wobbly there for me. <laughs> Breathing there. One more breath and then switch the hands. Right hand goes down. Start stacking the hips. Left above the right. Left hand goes high into the sky. Your Ardha Chandrasana half moon. If you fancy a bind here and bending the left knee, grabbing hold of the left ankle, you're in your Chapasana. If you can, maybe you look up into the sky. Breathing there, one more breath. Release the bind if you had the bind. Release both hands down, left hand down onto the mat, your standing splits, left leg high into the sky. Maybe a few hops, a few jumps here. Maybe you bind on your right ankle, so your choice. We'll be here for five breaths. You've got time for a few hops, a few jumps. Maybe handstand by the wall, all good, or you bind, really strengthening. So you can bind on your right ankle, maybe you bring the left hand to the right ankle as well. See how that feels like. It's intense, <laughs> but it's strengthening. Challenge is a good thing. So just two more breaths here. I can see some legs in the air, <laughs> beautiful. One more breath. So if you were in a handstand, land gently onto the right foot between the hands, bend the right knee, step the left foot back. On the inhale, I um, crescent lunge. Then rotate onto the feet to the back of the mat. Crescent lunge, and then open up to the left. Rotating. Inhale, both hands to the sky, look up to the stars. Exhale, frame the left foot, step it back. Flow for your vinyasa. Inhaling up dog, exhaling downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot goes high into the sky. Bend the knee and open the hip up. Inhale, right foot high into the sky. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, Garudasana, eagle pose, wrap it around. Left arm under, dome the back. And then open the wings. Untangle the legs, warrior free. Taking a breath. And then bend the right knee. Step the left foot back, crescent lunge. Rotate onto the feet to the front of the mat. Inhaling. And as you exhale, open up to the left. Listen up here. Inhale, look towards your right hand. Left hand to the right thigh. Bend into the right knee. Start leaning back reversing it but as you do this see if you can straighten the left leg so this is your diagonal stretch and a bit of a back bend so if you can straightening the left leg left leg is straight right knee bends just one more breath there let me have a look how it's looking very nice it's excruciating isn't it <laughs> inhale come back to crescent lunge 
Bend the left knee, both hands to the sky. Very well done. Exhale, frame the left foot, step it back. Flow for your vinyasa. Inhaling, up dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. So we're going to be here for five breaths. And you can take a child pose if you've had enough. Or if you'd like that it's a little extra challenge, bring the thumbs a bit closer together. Release the left forearm down. Slide the right hand in line with the left elbow. So sliding the right hand in line with the left elbow. So there's a triangle between your hands. Very nice. So your right hand is kind of like a chaturanga. And then from here, lifting one leg up. So let's lift the right leg up. And maybe a few hops, a few jumps. So this is a variation of a doll thing and some of us might find it more pleasant. Breathing there. Just three more breaths, a few hops, a few jumps, or just leg in the air. It's intense. <laughs> Breathing there. Let's just take one more breath here. And as you exhale, release the knees down, coming into a child pose just for a moment. Very well done. And on the next inhale, tuck the toes under, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, final left side, left foot high into the sky, point the toe. Exhale, bend the left knee, and then start opening hip up. Start sending the left foot back, back, back behind you till you reach the ground on the ball of the left foot. Inhale, wild thing. Push the hips to the sky. One more breath here. And as you exhale, release the left hand down, shoot the left foot high into the sky. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Inhale, crescent lunge, hands to the sky. Exhale, start leaning forward. Your Garudasana Eagle Pose, right leg wraps, right arm under, interlace the hands, dome, lower down, and then open the wings, spread those wings. Untangle the feet. Right leg parallel to the ground, warrior free, stay there. Breathing there. One more breath. And on the next inhale, release the right hand down onto the mat. Start rotating through the ribcage to the left and then release the left hand high into the sky. If sending it high into the sky is too much, you can keep it on the right buttock. So that helps to rotate. Breathing there. One more breath, and as you exhale, switch. So left hand down, start stacking the right hip above the left, and then send the right hand high into the sky. Adha Chandrasana, half moon. Then bend the right knee if you try the bind on the other side. Grab hold of that right ankle, and have a little back bend. You're in your Chapasana, sugar cane pose. Breathing there. And if doing all of this is way too intense, you can do it by the wall because the wall will give you stability. So if you have a wall behind you, you can lean onto the wall. And yes, on your left hand, you can, you can use blocks, you can use props to lift yourself a little bit higher. One more breath, release the right leg, circle both hands down, standing split. So five breaths here, a few hops, a few jumps, handstand practice. You bind on the left ankle if you can. Breathing there. It's intense. Three more breaths to go. It's the last standing splits of the practice, I promise. One more breath. And as you exhale, bend into the left knee. Step the right foot back. Inhale, crescent lunge. Ashta Chandrasana, that's what it's called. And then rotating all the way to the back. Crescent lunge. Open up to the right, and on the inhale, both hands to the sky. And as you exhale, frame the right foot, step it back, flow through your vinyasa. Inhaling, up dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Final left side, woo. Inhale, left foot goes high into the sky. Exhale, open the hip up. Inhale, left foot high into the sky. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Inhale, crescent lunge. 
Exhale, Garudasana, Eagle Pose. Right leg wraps, right arm under. Interlacing the fingers, hands. Dome the back, taking a the breath. And then open your wings. And then shoot the right leg back, warrior free. Taking a breath, bend the left knee, step it back. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, rotate to the front. Crescent lunge here. And then open up to the right. So listen up here. Look towards your left hand. Right hand to the right thigh. Start reversing that revolved crescent lunge. And then start straightening the right leg. So you can keep the left knee bent and right leg stretches. It's intense, it's your diagonal stretch. Breathing there. Two more breaths. One more breath. And as you exhale, crescent lunge. Frame the right foot, step it back, flow for your vinyasa. Inhaling up dog. Exhaling downward facing dog. Adha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, come into the balls of the feet. Exhale, bend the knees, look between the hands, float to the front. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the hands to the sky and then bring the prayer to the heart. Close your eyes and just feel all that space and energy we've created. Three rounds of mandala. I hope you're moderately exhausted. Inhale, open the hands to the sides, gather the energy. I know I am. And then bring the prayer to the heart, collect that energy. Well done. Blink your eyes open, send the prayer to the sky. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, last vinyasa, I promise. Step, hop, jump, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, and as you exhale, come towards the feet, bend the knees and hop halfway through the mat and come to seated. Extend your legs forward, Paschimottanasana. So flex the toes, point the toes to the sky. Inhale, both hands to the sky, exhale, folding. This posture is magical for soft throats. Breathing there. Free breath. So grab whatever you can reach, your heels, the outer edges, your calf muscles, anything you can reach. If it feels like too much, you can micro bend the knees and that will straighten your back. Breathing there, just surrender. One more breath. And as you exhale, release. Bend the knees and lower yourself all the way down onto the mat. Bringing the heels quite close to the hips. If you feel ready, go for a full wheel, otherwise a bridge. So if you're coming for a bridge, lift the hips, keep the shoulders down, interlace the hands underneath the back. If you're ready for a full wheel, bring the hands behind the shoulders, fingers pointing towards the shoulders, lift up onto the crown of the head and lift up your Urdhva Dhanurasana, full wheel. Taking a breath there, let's take two more breaths, whichever variation you took. And one more breath. And as you exhale, tuck the chin in if you were in full wheel and lower all the way down. If you were on the bridge, slowly lower the hips down. From here, coming into the plow. So keep your head straight, kick the feet over the head. So lifting the hips up, lifting up into the plow. So really constricting the throat here. And then from here, bring the hands to the lower back and then lift up into your shoulder stand. So make sure you're not looking around now. So your head is perfectly still, just to protect your neck. So bring the feet high into the sky, bring them in line with your hips as much as you can, and breathe. Two more breaths here. I wish we could stay longer, but my daughter has drama at 10 o'clock. <laughs> one more breath and then lower the feet all the way back into the plow release the hands onto the mat and then slowly vertebrae by vertebrae unravel yourself down 
onto the mat and release the feet down onto the mat. Bring the hands underneath the hips, underneath the buttocks. So straight legs here, straight legs, hands underneath the buttocks. Inhale, bring yourself, lift yourself up onto the elbows and then surrender the crown of the head down onto the mat. We take lion's breath here in Matsyasana fish pose. Take a deep inhale, roll the eyes up, and as you exhale, stick the tongue out and let it all go. Let's do it one more time. Roll the eyes up, take a deep inhale, stick the tongue out and let it go. Then tuck the chin in and then lower all the way down onto the mat. Release the hands on each side. If you feel like a supine twist, then bring the knees into the chest and then send the knees to the right and your gaze to the left. Just one breath here. Inhale, back to center. And then knees to the left, you gaze to the right, both shoulders down onto the mat. One more breath here, enjoy. And on the next inhale, bring the knees into the chest, squeeze the knees, lift the forehead to the knees, crunch up the whole face, the body, squeeze the whole body. And as you exhale, open up into your Shavasana. Get comfortable, maybe extra layers, and just sink into the ground. Allow the body to be heavy, allow the magic to happen, allow all those benefits of your practice to settle in for the body and for the mind. So stay there in your Shavasana for the next couple of minutes. I'll let you know if you can stay longer, of course. And while you're there, I have a little poem for you from Rumi. Rumi was a Persian poet who lived in 13th century. And it's called, You Have Wings. You were born with potential. You were born with goodness and trust. You were born with ideals and dreams. You were born with greatness. You were born with wings. You are not meant for crawling, so don't. You have wings. Learn to use them and fly. Start to deepen your breath. Bring life into your toes, into your fingers. Circle the wrists in the air. Swing your head from left to right, right to left. On the inhale, send your arms overhead behind you. Have a nice big stretch. Inhale, stretch, 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 stretch. Exhale, hug the knees into the chest. Roll over onto your favorite side. Use your top hand to lift yourself up to a comfortable cross-legged position. Keeping your eyes closed. Pray in front of your heart. Let's take one breath together. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, sight out. Oh. Live light. Travel light. Spread the light, be the light. I salute the divine being within you. Jai, namaste. Bring the hands to your eyebrows and bow down.